Hey, welcome to Scotty P Fishing. Uh, like usual, I didn't feel like working uh, the whole day, so I decided to dip out. Uh, storm passed through, so now it looks clear. Uh, we're here at the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. I uh, got a tournament next week, but I'll probably be doing that in Virginia Beach. But I uh, figured I'd come out here, got some vacation days, want to get some fishing done. And go for some flounder maybe, hit the flounder spots real quick. And then I might tuck back in to uh, uh, the creek, kind of like whatever, Red Mill Creek over there. See if some drum are hanging out over there. I really don't fish over there. So I might try some new areas, but really just want to get out and fish. So uh, check back in when we get some. chasing it. Some of the good weight to it too. I'm gonna throw a small jig head on with just shrimp and see what's down there. Cause I can't hook it on this it seems like. No, 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 no. No! You can see the mistakes uh, I made while trying to net that fish. So uh, I've definitely made some corrections and also got a bigger net uh, for some bigger fish next time. So I just lost the biggest flounder I've ever hooked. Let him off the hook. I couldn't get him to the right spot to get the net in him. This net is way too small anyway. He wanted to fit in this bitch. Um, man, I'm just devastated right now. Baby spec. Little baby. Little baby. All right, let's keep going. All right. Thumb's hitting it. Is interested in this. something is interested in what I'm offering right there. That's a flounder hit. That was a mistake. 
think that Flounder hit right to you. But we know it's a Flounder there now. Alright, we get a little closer up on them. Alright, we know it's a Flounder. This is how it strikes the thing. So hopefully he's right there still. They normally hang around. Once you find them, like, unless you actually hook them up and then let them loose, like, they'll be in that same area. Like, right there. Yeah, I'm going to get hit. Dang it! That's something huge. Flounder. Big ass flounder. So if you noticed, I made a mistake again by trying to net the flounder from behind, but thankfully it turned around and I was able to get in a good position to get it in the net. I was really excited because I'd missed that other flounder. I was so bummed out earlier in the day when I missed that. It was my own fault. Uh, I could have landed that fish before, but um, just horrible netting skills. So I uh, learned some valuable lessons today. Uh, it was just great to finally get away from uh, all the short flounders. I was catching a lot of short flounders throughout that time um, the past several weeks. So it was, it was nice to try to get on a bigger flounder. Uh, and I had a couple more successful uh, trips out with larger flounders. So it was a great time uh, for redemption. We are packing up. Um, I missed a big flounder. I was really upset. And uh, then I got that nice keeper flounder at 20 inches. So... Uh, very excited um, got the new truck here got that about two weeks ago uh, so this guy right here he's gonna uh, he's gonna get uh, eaten so whether it's by me or some of my friends uh, it's gonna get eaten so had a great time I'm glad I took the half day off tomorrow is my five-year wedding anniversary so uh, so just really excited uh, if you like what you saw please like and subscribe Again, I'm very bad at putting out videos, so uh, who knows when this one will get out. I'm sitting on a ton of footage. I just need to get out there. Uh, but if you like, yeah, please like and subscribe, and uh, catch you later.